Bipartisan Congress members unite to tackle Palestinian authorities' pay for slave scheme and a rejection from U.S. State Department. LTV's William Sharon has more. In a bipartisan effort, 30 Democratic and 20 Republican members of Congress have written a letter to Secretary of State Antony Blinken requesting an update on the U.S. government's plan to end the Palestinian Authority's controversial pay-for-slay scheme. Under this scheme known as the Martyrs Fund, terrorists are rewarded with monetary payments for carrying out acts of terror. Currently, the scheme costs the Palestinian Authority $300 million annually, accounting for 8% of its budget. The United States suspended funding to the Palestinian Authority in 2014 due to its refusal to abandon the program. In 2018, the U.S. Congress passed the Taylor Force Act, aimed at dissuading the PA from incentivizing terrorism. The congressional members expressed deep concern over the recent surge in violence, with Israeli civilians falling victim to terrorist attacks. They highlighted the celebration of cold-blooded murderers of Israelis. The letter emphasized the Palestinian Authority's refusal to condemn these killings and called for an end for the pay-for-slay program. The congressional members acknowledge the administration's shared view that supporting terrorism and treating the martyrs' payment system as a social warfare is unacceptable. However, they pointed out that despite Taylor Force Act being signed into law five years ago, the PA continues to bolster the martyrs' fund. They urged the State Department to update Congress on negotiations to end the program and called on the administration to address the issue with Palestinian officials.